Friends MD about to react to this event by Matt Beefs. It's titled The Chaotic 2024 Presidential Election in a Nutshell. And then we got some celebrities who reacted to the results. Um, so, yeah, we're going to, you know, see what everybody has to say. Let's watch. I'm, I'm a gun owner, Tim. I did not know that. <laughs> if somebody breaks in my house, they're getting shot. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I'm a gun owner, I have a Glock, and um, I've had it for quite some time. Okay. And um, I mean, look, my background is in law enforcement. And um, so there you go. Have you uh, ever fired it? Yes. <laughs> of course I have. <laughs> at a shooting range. Take a look at what happened. Nothing. We must stop the glorification of violence in our society. This includes the gruesome and grisly video games that are now commonplace. In Springfield, they're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cats. They're eating, they're eating the pets of the people that live there. <laughs> She did things that nobody would ever think of. Now she wants to do transgender operations on illegal aliens that are in prison. Is this person doing What is this? What is happening? That's part of my plan. That's a Tina Tana business. That's the that, yeah. concept of a yeah. business, yeah. right? Yeah. Wait, what did that say out of here in the beginning? So that's part of my plan. That's a Tina Tana business. That's the that, that, yeah. concept that's of a yeah. business, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You know what I got it. So just a yes or no, you still do not have the a plan. Was. I have concepts of a plan. And this, you have this? <laughs> and this, do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head? It starts with an M and it ends with a. Uh. <laughs> Not ER. Former president, was, I am so happy to be campaigning in whatever swing state I'm in, which I will just refer to as Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, Georgia. <laughs> because I am going to protect your Georgia. Okay. A big time loser has been pretty open about his plans if elected to stack DC with loyalists, going after the media yeah. and comedians. How do you have to be going after comedians? Mm -hmm. uh, he wants to do some mass deportations, which really, uh, really is a throwback to the 30s. Mm -hmm. A dictatorship by any other name, this is what he is planning. Yeah. Uh, people are saying this could be the closest election in a century. Yeah. I personally cannot understand why anyone would vote for him. A lot of it is, I think, is getting better from that people are getting better information from other channels. Mm -hmm. But do you have an explanation for this at all? Well, let me just add to your list. I, 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 I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you guys are at the wrong rally. No, I think you meant to go to the smaller one down the street. I feel like she was trying really hard to be relatable and it just came across a bit. You know, this our economy, the worst inflation ever. Um, we have the politics on our side, oh, we have the policies on our side that will make America great again and they don't. They will only continue to destroy our nation. Our nation is and our nation and we will prevent the whole world from entering world. I look mad What's your Wait, what? Azalea Banks makes last minute endorsement switch now falling for Kamala Harris as she bashes out a dirtbag Elon Musk. She's mentally unstable. So. What's your favorite farm animal? Favorite farm animal? Well, this guy grew up in the city. I know what I love. I love cows 
But if we go with Kamala, you won't have any cows anymore. Because you know that, well, I don't want to ruin this kid's uh, day. But I love cows. I think they're so cute and why so beautiful. And so uh, uh, but according to Kamala, cows? who's a radical left lunatic, you will not have any cows anymore. So. OK, that was it. We're done. Okay, let's do it another way. <laughs> I really enjoy talking with everybody. That's it. No more bored. Okay, now this is what the celebrities had to say about Donald Trump winning. Congratulations. As for the next three years, you would be marked safe from political ads. But since last night's national election, hip hop has had mixed feelings. Some were happy with the results, others, not so much. 50 Cent, Slim Thug, Cardi B would all give their reactions to the winner of the 2024. People are, people are saying that Kamala lost because of Cardi. They like this. This put a lot of people over the edge. I will say, <laughs> I looked in the comments of DJ Academics vid where he was talking about it about Cardi's speech, <laughs> and people was like, "All right, y'all force my hand. I'm about to vote for Trump." <laughs> I wouldn't even go do it that way, but y'all, y'all didn't force my hand with all this bullshit. I was cracking up. So yeah, people was all in a uh, in a uh, act comment saying that they voting for for Trump. So yeah. Presidential elections. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Is your man talk this world of for the Chick Smooth channel? We gotta talk about this. Before we get into what 50 Cent had to say, here's what Michael Blackson posted on Twitter. It's going to be a fun four years in America. Trump is funny as hell, and the economy will go back up. Try not to learn too much about the world from select. I've never found this man funny. I just find him to be extremely cringy. And this photo, you thought, oh, this, this is so funny. Let me post this, like... Just such lame comedy. Like, it's not even funny. If you want to post some shit, make it funny. He's not funny. Celebrities and comedians. As another comedian, D.L. Hughley, has the exact opposite take. If you think Trump is who you need to worry about, no wonder people were naive enough to vote for him. He won't even be the worst of what's to come. Excuse me. And then he would post, we have elections every four years in this country. It's completely normal for one side to be disappointed in losing. What's not normal is to be in fear after one side wins. With the caption, be careful what you ask for. You just might get it. Someone else who posted about the election was WAC 100 who said, easy work. Now let's get back to business. Real Donald Trump, I see the homie showed up, which is great because I wasn't aware that WAC 100 was so into voting that he would make sure the rest of his gang members also participated. No matter who you support, that's very patriotic. But it wasn't all happy days. As you see, Cardi B not feeling too well about the results of the election. At this time, that means he needs 23 more. Pennsylvania has 19 electoral votes. Michigan has 15. I hate. She don't even know what's happening. And then Slim Thug was sharing. I don't either, but I don't pretend to know. <laughs> There's a big difference. I hate people pretend to know what's going on. Like, you, bro. As sentiment saying, we lost, ladies. I try to help y'all, shaking my ladies. head. If y'all need hugs, I'll be here. Remember the dudes who didn't have your back. I did. Congrats, MAGA. If Trump have y'all broke, I'm not helping. Tell your boy to get rid of them taxes. And then 50 Cent, who has a bit of a love-hate relationship with politics, recently sat with The Breakfast Club to Trump talk about how he turned down $3 million dollars from the Trump campaign to perform. Take a listen. Is it true? Donald yeah, because he, he don't want that bad, that bad publicity. But I, I feel like he's... I feel like... 95% of these celebrities are Trump supporters. Interestingly enough, even the ones who, who may lead you to believe that they're team Kamala, all this shit fakes. They will give you money to, to endorse him one time. I got a call, but the, the one that made it was Sunday. Why do you want to come? Oh, yesterday. that's the square garden oh, week. Yeah. They wanted, you, oh, yeah, to they wanted right? you to perform many men. They wanted you to perform many men at the RNC too, right? Yeah, yeah and yeah, they're still offering me to be announced. To perform? At the RNC or this past Sunday? Huh? At the this past Sunday. At $3 million. Mm -hmm. And then they offered you money for the Republican National Convention too, right? Mm -hmm. He turned it down? That? Yeah, I didn't even go far back. I didn't even talk to them about that kind of stuff. I'm afraid of politics, bro. So you understand? <laughs> I do not like it. <laughs> you don't like no gang bang, about who gets banged in politics. No gang bang, no politics. You know, it's Mr. because Jeff when you do get involved in it, no matter how you feel, so passionately disagrees with you. That's everything, yeah. Donald. Well, it's worse. It's worse now. That's the formula for the confusion that is sent Kanye to Japan. <laughs> <laughs> he, 
he said something about both of those things, and now you can only go to Japan. But then after the election, 50 Cent will post these pictures on Instagram oh. with the caption, I don't care how the fight goes, I'm leaving with the winner. I still don't know what's going on. <laughs> Being a public figure, that's the best route. If you're already rich, who the president is doesn't really affect you. Put in the comments what you think will happen. I feel like that was him confirming that he's pro-Trump without actually saying it. Uh, but here's the thing, people. Don't don't live in fear. Don't let everybody scare you. Social media can be a very dangerous place. I feel like there's a lot of misinformation being spread, um, a lot of rumors, and, and people are just doing the most. And it's just like, bro, this happened the last time he was elected into office. People did the same thing. They were talking just like this. Some of you are probably a bit young. You don't remember very clearly, but I remember. <laughs> and people were just as afraid and, you know, thinking, oh my God, everything's over. We're about to die. Black people are about to be slaves. Just weird shit. And I'm just like, bro, I just don't subscribe to that way of thinking personally. Uh, but yeah, just know you'll, you'll be fine and don't feed into the, uh, the fear and hysteria. Uh, but do what you want. If you want to be scared, then sure. Sure, you're a prerogative. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think about all this. Let me know what other videos you want to watch, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.